been a while since I last recorded on HD, so uh, this is actually a great video to start off with. Well, as you note uh, yesterday that my uh, Pink Super Beauty molted, got another one molted. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool, and uh, it's actually Princess Peach, the Choco Goldney. She last molted five months ago. I had the video on April 4th, and uh, we'll be happy to show it to you. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to sub tomorrow, which is actually awesome. I'm the first uh, sub job for uh, this year. Hopefully, many more. And I might decide to buy a new tea. I'm not quite sure which one yet. I was thinking of maybe getting a Orthonoctis aureatabalius, which is the uh, Thailand fawn or something like that. I don't know. Totally unexpected her to molt. So these gramosoles are actually molting pretty fast. I'll just give you some updates on some tea before I go on. Here's P. Smithy. Uh, P. Savaska Highland. P. Fasciata. It's grooming. I think this is another male. Yep. And surprise, Midna's out again. Uh, from what I could tell, she looks heavily in pre-molt, so we may actually get her molting from her. Amora's not there yet. Alrighty, so let's check her out. I do know this is a confirmed female uh, from the last uh, video that I made. That's the same time that I got uh, Michaela the G. Rosea from my good friend Eichmann2006. So congratulations to Rob C. I just saw his new video on his uh, T Blondie sling. So uh, it's actually cool that he named uh, her uh, Zilla. So hopefully it's a female. And uh, hey, it's great. It's great for him. Congratulations. So I'm excited to see it grow up and uh, see if uh, it will live up to its reputation. Of the big Zilla. I just like her. All right, so. Alright, so let's look at her. Let me get my police light. Uh, yeah, so, um... I would say, what, three and a half, four inches? Probably the same size as my Pink Zebra Beauty that molted uh, yesterday. So, I have the skin right here. Another intact one. So, let me pull it out. Because uh, she doesn't need it. Alright, so it's very hard to see on this uh, camera, so I'm trying to see if I can get a good close-up shot of it. Yeah, you can definitely see the epigastric furrow, or the spermatici. So, definitely confirmed female. Sweet. That's just simply amazing. And let's see if we have other updates for you guys, since, uh... I'm pretty good to go. Uh, here's a uh, Pilcotheria tigrina wesseli, Wessel tiger ornamental. Looks to be a female. Piantinus, Paraphyza species. Here's Alita, Avic Avic. Uh, there's Bloom. G. rosea red color form. Is I Recephi? Over there. Rib tree spider. Uh, this one here. B. Vagans. B. Aratum. This one here is a C. Rogapakis Shoidi. Malaysian earth tiger. Pretty small. Emilia is supposed to molt very soon. Yeah, she's big and fat. Too, almost too fat for my liking. A Australis, the uh, Egyptian yellow fat tail scorpion. And I got my dead crickets in there, so I'm gonna have to uh, 
remove them out just like uh, I showed you yeah doing fine and here's Gretel Theraphosa spiny peeps mature female burgundy goliath bird eater uh, hopefully I'm gonna be mating her very soon I'm just gonna be power feeding her get that add them in a bit more fatter so uh, she doesn't have any threats to Hans so it doesn't eat him um, this one here is a king baboon Polynobius muticus can't really see him that well in the burrow here's Kira under his curly hair looks to be uh, I would say female question mark Wow, just that look at that fuzz cloud from uh, HMAC. That's just awesome. Hopefully, I'll get a sack from her. If not, then oh well. I tried. Alright, guys, so that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.